This video is brought to you by patreon.com slash worst take. Get access to exclusive live streams and Discord servers, on-screen shoutouts, and early access to some videos when you join now. Help make sure that we can continue to make content like this by supporting the Patreon. Links are in the description down below. All right, so Nick Chubb, right? A lot of people have eyes on him. They want to see how he's coming back from that catastrophic knee injury. And I think the signs here are pretty positive for Nick Chubb. Um, things are coming back. I don't think they're all going to come back just in one game. But I think that, you know, last week you saw him get more comfortable getting hit. This week he seemed more comfortable getting hit. I think the last step he needs is – just to be comfortable running in open space because that's the only area where i look at him like okay he's not back yet he appears um, but let's go ahead let's go ahead and look at the tape here for nick chubb we're gonna look at 10 of his carries and see how he's progressing right here you like to see this look he's really comfortable cutting off both knees now there was a little bit of a hesitation last week, this week. Boom, you see the injured knees on the two side of his jersey. He's cutting, planning off of that fine, very explosively, sustaining contact too, and then finishing. That's what he did a lot better. The vision came back too, I think, in this game. This one here, it's not an impressive run, but it is impressive right here just for his own confidence sake, right? Because Michael Pierce, big 58, gets all over him. He's able to withstand that blow from Michael Pierce and stay on his feet. So he, the knee's really strong. Look at that. And look which knee takes the brunt of that impact, right? The lower knee is going to be the one carrying the more weight. And you see right here when he falls off of him, that's the knee. He's able to get up off of that and then, boom, put his shoulder down get some extra yards it's a good sign there it's a good sign and michael pierce does a good job playing this gap by the way <laughs> like look look at michael pierce it looks hilarious because he's so big he does a good job playing this gap doesn't get to maintain it though because he doesn't make the tackle but good job by him good effort <laughs> let's look at this run here Again, just feeling comfortable with him taking contact. Seems like the contact part of it doesn't bother him anymore. That's a very good step here. He was much more comfortable cutting, less hesitant cutting like that. See, so cut, cut, and then was staying the contact, finish strong like that. This run here, this is like a classic Nick Chubb kind of carry here, or at least start to a carry where he's doing a counter run unfortunately it's not there this Trenton Simpson guy um really good run defender by the way 23 for the Ravens so you're gonna want to keep your eyes on him the Ravens have a good interior so they're gonna be hard to run against and they blocked this one up pretty well and I I love how he finishes this run though All right because it it should have probably been shut down but he finishes through it. Yeah, he finishes through it, pushes Kyle Hamilton back, gets the extra couple of yards. This is not 100% Nick Chubb, but he's clearly working his way back pretty rapidly. Here, I mean, this is great burst off the line of scrimmage. Boom, into a gap. There it is. That's Nick Chubb right there. All right. Look at this crease he fits into. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing, right? Still capable of doing that. Still an athlete that can do that, right? Puts his foot in. Which foot is that? Remember the two side of his jersey. That's the that's the knee that he blew out. And look how he cuts off that. Look how clean he cuts off that. Look how precise he cuts off that. He is comfortable cutting off that knee again. Where he's not comfortable is here, right? 
This is where he's not comfortable. This area right here. He's not comfortable right here. You can tell he's uncomfortable every time he gets out there. By the way, Jack Conklin got away with the hold. Because look at how his body kind of feels out this contact before it happens. Once he gets to open space. Like he's really conscious of like his he can get hit. Right? You see him right here? He already grabs and tucks with two arms. He's prepping to get hit right here. When usually Nick Chubb's ready to make a move right there, right? But he's prepping to make a to take a hit. This is where he's gonna have to get more comfortable. And I don't blame him for not being comfortable here yet. But you see here? He's out here now with Nick Chubb before the injury. He's not tucking that ball in. He's he's trying to make a move on that safety, get downfield even more, or run by him. But instead, he kind of tucks, slows down, and kind of braces for contact where he feels it. He's just not comfortable running in the open field yet. I think that's the last thing. Once he finally gets comfortable running in the open field, he's going to look like Nick Chubb on a consistent basis. Because the athleticism's there, the vision's there. Look at how he just plays this run right here. It's like this isn't a run where like there's a ton of space here to be made. And it's, and it's nice that his most impressive runs weren't because the Browns would just open up huge gaps for him. Um, this run right here, the one I'm about to play before, it happened before, the gap is teeny tiny. Like th this gap is super small. Look at that gap that he gets through. It's super small. And then this one, I mean, the gap's pretty much non-existent here where he kind of slips behind and just kind of patiently sets that up. Look at that. And he breaks a tackle. He's just got to get a little bit more comfortable getting hit in the open field. I mentioned this, right? Because a lot of people are like, oh, the offensive line's not good. We shouldn't put Nick Chubb behind it. Him getting hit at the line of scrimmage is not going to be what's going to be concerning to him. It's that open field stuff, right? You can see right here, once he senses he's a bit in open space, he starts tucking and hugging that ball and getting low and bracing for contact instead of keeping his eyes up and making a play. But that'll come. That'll come. He's just got to get comfortable. Trent Simpson. Was that Trent Simpson again? No, that's 29 that did this one. 29 does a good job blowing this run play up because Nick Chubb is about to cut this back backside and actually almost score on it. But 29 does a good job there. Is it that Washington, Broderick Washington? Good young player there. This is, to me, I think... <laughs> Just not used to the tackle being that big. Also, Dewan Jones, if you're going to be that big, you got to lose less ground here, right? But what is nice to see is the contact balance for Nick Chubb. One of the things you were worried about with Nick Chubb going through this ACL injury was, was he going to maintain his spectacular contact balance? We've seen it multiple times in this game where he sustains a hit, he stays on his feet, where he has a big-ass Michael Pierce roll off of his body, he stays on his feet, and right now gets hip-checked by Dewan Jones, inadvertently stays on his feet. The contact balance is still there, right? Just got to check for the traits. Are the traits still there for Nick Chubb? And they are. The production will follow. Just got to make sure the traits are still there. Here. Boom. Contact balance. So look at that balance. Look at that. Stays on his feet. Then gets north south. Jameis throws a half decent block there on Kyle Hamilton. <laughs> um, they get back to the line of scrimmage here, but that contact balance, right? That's important. I want to try to find the other run here, where um, I believe it's from this angle. No, it's from this angle. I think it is this one right here. Yeah. See, contact balance, nice. You want to see that contact balance by Nick Chubb. Let's check this one for contact balance, right? Whole contact stays up, stays on his feet. Whole slip, contact stays up. Good, good, good. 
Yeah, the contact balance is an important piece of what makes Nick Chubb Nick Chubb. This is just amazing balance right here. So you want to make sure he's maintained that and look good good contact balance there. So you want to make sure he maintains that. That's the biggest thing with Nick Chubb. Want to make sure he maintains his excellent contact balance. And yeah, good example of him maintaining that. All right, let's get on to the last two plays here. Here, Nick Chubb finds a gap. And again, the contact balance is what we're talking about. 94, 96, that's a defensive end. Swings off his body, takes another hit. Still stays on his feet, finishes strong. The contact balance is still there. He's got to get a little bit more comfortable in the open field. He's got to, I think he is kind of avoiding the open field at times. But once he gets through that, he's going to be Nick Chubb. Look at this <laughs> craziness. He's still strong as hell. But yeah. So if you're worried about Nick Chubb, if some of the traits were coming back, if the athleticism was back, if you were worried about if the contact balance is back, that's all there. What I'm still waiting to see from Nick Chubb is that classic Nick Chubb burst on a consistent basis, right? That's the last piece of the puzzle here, right? Comfort in the open field and burst the way that we usually see it. Those are the only two things I haven't seen on a consistent basis. I've seen a little bit of burst from Nick Chubb since he's come back, right? I think there's a couple of runs in this game where he shows some pretty excellent burst. Um, I haven't seen him look super comfortable in the open field yet, but I think it's just going to take like one or two runs to make him comfortable there. I think this run right here is going to be a huge part of helping him feel comfortable with that. Um, but yeah, I think Nick Chubb, the comfort, the athletic ability, the vision, all the stuff, most of it's there for Nick Chubb right now. The question is the burst. Is the burst going to be there? Um, and is he ever going to be as comfortable in the open field as he used to be before this injury? Or is there going to be some kind of lingering damage because of that? So that's the only thing that I'm really concerned about. Um, but so far, so good with Nick Chubb. A nice improvement versus a really good run defense. We'll see what next week brings him. But so far, so good.